Hey yo guys, what's going on? Um, I think my voice down. Um, it's like five eight, five a.m. in the morning. Just arrived back from um, Bournemouth. It. I've been up since eight o'clock um, a.m. yesterday morning. So you can imagine it's been like a twenty-hour day. I'm very very exhausted. Um, got a few things to say on the match, but I have to keep my voice down because there's people sleeping in there and up there. So. Um, I suppose I have to do a soft into the match, uh, a subject that I don't really want to speak about, but I have to speak about because it is a review. <sighs> Listen, I'm, I'm, I ain't best pleased, um, and I'm not happy, even though we may be out of the cup and it's less of a distraction, which is the only positive for me, is we are out of the cup, and that means that the distraction of being in the cup isn't there no more. Um, in terms of the performance, um, pack, uh, you know, there's a few players I can pick out that I just thought didn't play very well at all. Um, there's a certain individual that wound me up tonight as well, and it really got to me when I thought, you don't want to do that to travelling fans. Um, if you can hear the breathing, by the way, it's my dog. <laughs> I got my dog behind me, I'm in the, I'm in the kitchen. Um, Adam Traore. Clap the butt of hands. I don't think I'd give the disabled fan a shirt, which I thought was a really nice gesture for coming all the way to Bournemouth. Players clapped us, and um, as a fan, that's what you want to see after the game, as the fans being clapped by the players and the, and the fans clapping the players. A damn try already. Um, I don't know what you are, I don't know what the crack is with you, my friend, but you do not give your shirt to a, to a Bournemouth fan in front of the butt of hands. I don't know how many Borough fans seen that. I don't know if every single Borough fan had left by that point, but as I was just doing some closing remarks, um, on the camera, I looked over, um, just before I put the camera on, and as I looked over, I see a diamond triore smiling, giving his shirt to a Bournemouth fan, um, and like just shaking hands with them and taking selfies with them, and uh, I think to myself, well, I can give your shirt, shirt to a Borough fan. There was a lot of Borough fans at the front after the game. And uh, you know you could give you you could give you shit to a Borough fan, but you didn't. You chose to give it to a Bournemouth fan, which is listen. That's I mean you are your own person, but for me that was a kind of, that was a bit of like a punch in the face. It was a bit of a punch in the balls. If you like of thank you for coming, but I won't give you my shirt. I'll give it to the opposing team, and then go and have a laugh and a joke with them and. Whatever, try all right, man. Whatever, but listen, um, really buzzing with Tavernier. I mean, I loved it when Tavernier scored. I got right down to where he was. He come sliding over to us. I got right down to where Tavernier was. I was jumping all over with him. And when we got to one one, I felt you know, Borough were going to kick on there and then, and uh, you know, Borough were going to do something special. But give away a silly, silly penalty. Um, and it was silly. I don't know what happened. I ain't seen it back. I just think it's a penalty. We lost our last game to a penalty. Being Cardiff. And obviously scored the penalty. And then the attitude of the Borough players changed. They didn't want it. It didn't look like they wanted it no more. And uh, they went down and got the third. And they could have had another one. A four bay. Mistimed his effort. And uh, the game ended 3 1. So. You know, at 1-1, one, one, you always think your team are going to be back in it. But listen, we have to go again. And they have to go again on another long journey down to Reading on um, Saturday. About, about a 10-hour round trip, 11-hour round trip. So it's another long journey. I'm praying we see a decent performance on that day. Like I say, we, we went to Bournemouth. Um, met Eddie Howe. Eddie Howe, what a great, what a great man. What a great man he is. Actually, had the time to talk to us. And uh, get a photo with me. And uh, I've got to say, the facilities of Bomb are fantastic. The way, the way, the the whole stadium where it is, how the train was attached to the, to the stadium. I honestly, I really like the complex. I really enjoyed my away day to Bournemouth, um, which I didn't think I didn't know how nice it was or anything. It was really nice laid out. So that you know, the only the only bit of my good day was obviously having the, having the crack with the lads from Borough on TV, and I've got to thank Borough on TV again for letting me travel down there with the boys. And that's it, always a good time. Um, you know, I mean, I'm sure we're gonna have a great time on Saturday. And uh, like you say, it was fantastic. It was a fantastic away day, apart from the result. But listen, it's always a great day with the boys. Today was an hour day. Today was an hour day, and uh, it's a real shame. But uh, 
man of the match for me from the Borussia side was Tavernier. Um, what a great goal, what a great take. And if I've been playing the game for years when he scored it, um, if I ever meet him, I'll buy him a pint because it was fantastic. Um, I was really impressed with him at Aston Villa away, and he was very impressed with him tonight. Guys, I'm sorry for, I'm sorry for you short, but it's like five past five in the morning. I need to get some sleep. I'm absolutely knackered. I've been up for nearly 20, 24 hours, nearly. But, what, 21 hours now? And, uh, like I say, I've got to get some sleep. Guys, we got beat. 3-1, five Bournemouth, and uh, I'm hoping that we put the I hope we put our results right on Saturday by the next league game against Reading. We need a win, and it's uh, simple as that. The confidence and the morale needs to improve. It's not going to improve if we keep getting defeated, so a much needed win on Saturday. I'll take a 1 0 and just get us up to still and get some points on the board. Guys, my we, my preview for Red and V Borough will be on Thursday, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Remember, smash that like button if you enjoyed this review and hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Guys, it's been your boy AJT. Make sure you subscribe to Borough Fan TV to see all the interviews from tonight and the vlog. You guys take care. Big up to thank you to Put On TV again for letting me travel with the um, with all the boys. I can't really speak because I'm absolutely knackered my words aren't even coming out. Guys, take care and I'll see you again soon. Up the butter.